Are you planning or you are already building an electric mounting board? If you are and you are looking for a good quality solution how to house your ESC or your VESC, this video is for you. There are two types of electrical skateboards. One type where the battery and the EC and all electronics are housed inside the actual battery enclosure, which is quite long, or sometimes in two separate bits, but they are underneath the board. The pure example is this enclosure right here. And as you can see, it got the heatsink cut into the enclosure and got the VESCs underneath it, and battery is gonna be sitting right here. For that type of installation, I have used aluminium precision cut heat sink. You can install that into your deck with the fins protruding through the enclosure, which will be taking away the heat. However, if you are building a mountain board, you want to keep your EC away from the underneath of the deck so it doesn't uh, get any damage, same as the battery. And this is where the second type of installation comes across. If you are building a mountain board, you want to keep everything above the deck. So this is a standard, mostly commonly used installation. The battery enclosure on the top of the deck and also the electronics and EC on the back of the deck in a different enclosure. This way, there is nothing underneath your board. Nothing that can heat rocks or uh, get submerged in water or whatever not. So now, what do you do if you want something already built? Like this enclosure here, I had to build myself because nothing was available at the time. However, it's our lucky day now, guys. And today, we're going to fully review a new product from 3D Services. Designed and built in EU. Awesome quality and I will make one of this available as a lottery for only 10 euro a ticket. This EC or VESC enclosure was designed with DIY in mind. For all the people out there who want to have high quality enclosure that will fit any, and yes you heard me right, any EC or VESC. This enclosure is 100% waterproof. By the way, stick around at the end of the video. I'm actually going to stick a vesk in it and dump it in a bucket full of water to make sure it is 100% waterproof. You can get this units ordered in white or black. In the pack, you get the enclosure itself with already pre-installed switch, which is very handy. It's fully assembled for you. Just take it apart and put the vesk in it. You do get everything that you need to install the most common VESCs and ECs. Every single bolt and screw is provided as a kit. You also get the cable adapters. These are made in Finland, really good quality, and they do provide you with a 100% water seal if installed correctly. So you get eight of these. Three for each of the uh, motors, uh, face cables, one for each of the center cables, and also two power leads. What you do have also with this kit is the mounting bracket. And as you can see, the mounting bracket does lift the box away from the deck. That gives you more air circulation around the enclosure itself. Also, design of the actual heatsink is improved and it lets the air slide across the enclosure to take away the heat from the EAC or VESCs. So now inside, these four screws right here hold the box to the actual bracket. High quality stainless steel bolts are being used with a star head. So with removing these four, four screws will release the bracket. This bracket goes onto your deck. These holes here are made so that you can adjust the position of the actual enclosure on the deck, a way closer to your motors. Also, it's designed to fit 
any deck out there. Longboard, skateboard, tramper, MBS, anything as you wish. 2.5 inches by 1625. So let's put this on the side and let's take the box apart to look what actually is inside. So inside the box. The top cover with the switch already pre-installed, a perfectly cut in groove and a gasket that's going to give you a hundred percent waterproofing. While we're talking about the switch, this switch is provided so you can use as uh, it's in line with let's say a Unity or any other one that does fit configuration of the instantaneous switch. However, if required, you can undo the nut and replace the switch for the switch you need. The hole pre-drilled is 16 millimeters. So you can install any button that you want. Perfectly made seat for the washer, spot on. As already described before, you get everything you do require to install the ECs or VESCs inside the enclosure itself. Now inside the bottom part, this is the one that gets bolted on to the bracket. You've got a multi-hole bracket that is pre-drilled for you so you can install any mostly used out there EC or VESC. This box was already built and does have pre-drilled brackets so you can install the Unity. Fog box, the original, the two single ones if you want to. You can also install the stone core, all the holes are already pre-drilled. TV, VESC 6, Mark 3 or similar and also the newest VESC HD60. And if you have not heard about new Tramper Dual VESC HD60, well, very soon, a couple of weeks time, we'll fully review this unit. Look at this. Yes, that is the dual VESC by Trampa, the original. At the same time as all the VESCs or ESCs that got the body with the threads in, you can also install the ESCs that don't have the aluminium casing. Hence why there are larger holes where you can thread through electrical zip tie and actually fix the EC down to the plate allowing for it to cool and also stay fixed. Now to the physical sizes of this beautiful unit. It is 175 millimeters long, 140 millimeters wide, and it is 50 millimeters thick, that is including the fins on the cooling unit. The raise up bit where the bracket is, is 15 millimeters with the beautiful actual body of the unit already pre-threaded for you the installation is straightforward just apply some PTFE or silicone and pretty much screw the connectors in it does already have a spring type body so your cables don't get stressed out and can actually move a little bit but don't snap 90 degree very nice. Please note that this unit is designed to be 100% waterproof. However, installation or correctness of installation is crucial. When you do poke the cables through the actual connector, it needs to be a high quality silicone cable. So the rubber grommet can actually hug it and fully water seal it. Don't use just a bunch of single cables without the outer coating otherwise it will not seal correctly now about the price this unit with all the bits you require will cost you 120 euro plus VAT unless you are from non-EU country then you don't pay the VAT and delivery for wherever you are this unit is roughly about 970 grams so pushing almost a kilo really heavy 
really solid unit that will definitely soak up all that heat away from your EC and electronics. Absolutely beautiful. Quality is 100%. By the way, you probably noticed I've got two units here. The black one, that is for me. That's going to go on, to, on the beast, the orange board. This one here, I've purchased at full price so I can make it just a bit interesting for you guys. Come on, it's Christmas New Year. Why not for someone to get one of these for 10 euro? So what I've decided to do is a lottery. So if you are interested to get a ticket, please email me on this email address right here or find me and contact me on Eastgate Freedom Group on Facebook and I will let you know how to enter. We will do an electronic lottery live. I would say roughly around Christmas time and the winner takes this unit away for 10 euros. You can buy as many tickets as you want. I think it's quite a good deal. If you don't want to take part in lottery and won this box straight away, guess what? These are available on 3D Services uh, website to buy now, black or white. Take a look, in description below we'll leave a link to this unit where you can purchase it straight away. And now, a very exciting part. We're going to stick a brand new 370 pound VESC into one of these boxes, feed the cables through and chuck it in a bucket and leave it there for a bit. Well, really hope it is 100% waterproof. I'm sure it is, it'll be fine. So let's do this. So first thing first is we're going to tape up the threads. I'm using the PTFE tape. One, two, three, come on! Come on, come on! Please bear in mind that this is plastic. So when you try to catch the thread, do it by hand. Make sure you do not cross thread it. And only when you caught it and got it in three, four times, you know the thread is fine. I'm using a 16 millimeter spanner. I'm going to tighten this up. You don't have to go crazy, guys. It's plastic. Nice and neat. Look at this. I think PTFE does a great job. This is seeing seeds from ABS plastic block and the aluminium well it's so clean really like it well done through the services And the way these holes are staggered is absolutely brilliant because you get you can get the spanner on every single one of them even when they are so close to each other very good another quite an interesting feature guys that you could install this multi-fixing plate either on the bottom plate so it's going to be at the bottom of the enclosure so the cover goes on the top like so with the Vesco EC fixed to the bottom. So when you open it up, you'll have your Vesco fixed right there. However, if you want to, you can remove the plate. And install the plate on the top plate, uh, cover. This way, what you're going to have is your Vesco EC mounted at the top. So when you take the cover off, the Vesco EC is on the top. And you take the advantage of a higher surface for cooling down your EC. So it's up to you. As I said, very, very universal. And while we're here, these are all pre-drilled holes for different desks. Nicely countersunk. Good work.
Okay, so here is the rig. Brand new Vest HD60. The face cables are through. I've done just a bit of loop cable to replicate uh, cables penetrating uh, for the uh, center cables. So just seal the holes. And at the bottom, just looped out another bit of cable through the uh, connectors where the power cable is going to go through. So, uh, well, let's put it together, fingers crossed. By the way, so you know, up to 5.5 uh, size straight connectors do fit through these adapters. The only thing you have to do is take the heat shrink off. However, the original ones on Trampa, a VESC, fit straight through. What's with the raincoat, you think? Well, it's about to get really wet around here. So guys, it's time for the test. I have set up the waterproof EC enclosure, got the cables through and all. So what we're gonna do is, well, very simple. Submerge it into the water. This part is gonna be a little bit long because I want you to be short. I'm doing this test correctly. People who know me, they know my reviews are always 100%. However, for whoever doesn't believe me, there is a timer. So you can see the time running and going, so you know whatever is gonna come out of here is what was actually in there. Trampa HD60, brand new. Whew. And here we go. All the way in. Can you see it well? Fully submerged down the water. Okay, so no air bubbles coming out. I do some crazy weird stuff on my channel. How long should we leave it in there for? It's like underwater, underwater. Like full underwater. <sighs> Sorry guys. I know it's taking long. You can skip this if you want or just watch it. It's up to you. While we're here, by the way, uh, if you just tuned into my channel, there's like so many videos on it. Guys flick through it. Uh, riding, shooting. I know it's not electric skateboard related, but uh, yeah, off-roading, drones, riding skateboard on snow, riding it on uh, sand, falling over, remotes, battery builds, everything about batteries, the beast build. You can build one of these bad boys, by the way. Right there. And uh, yeah, it's just tons. And if there's something you cannot find, just tell me. You know, you can always comment and say, look, Pat, what about this? What about that? You know, I can make something or maybe point you to the uh, video that's already on the channel. <sighs> what do you reckon, guys? That's enough? Fully submerged? Yeah. Take it out, dry it up. Take it apart. Yeah, I think it's enough. I mean, if that didn't go through, it's gonna get the blanket. Okay. If that water didn't go through now, I don't think a bit of rain or heavy rain is gonna get in. It's fully submerged. So. Out. Timer is still going, as it was in the bucket. It's gonna rest it on there. I'm gonna take this water out. Oh, that's a lot of water. <clears throat> oh. 
Okay, so, timer, still there. Let's get this a bit closer to me. Let's get you just a bit lower. Okay, this angle okay? So, what we need to do, I guess dry this up a bit. So we don't get any water dripping off of the enclosure. Sorry, we're still going. Can you see? Yeah. Nice and dry. Nothing, not a drop of water. Absolutely perfect. So, not sure about you, but it's definitely a plus to me. And that's it for this video guys hopefully you enjoyed it well I definitely did and I'm very happy that I'm gonna have one of these units installed on my board because I can definitely trust it so let's recoup one of these the full kit is available as a lottery you can buy as many tickets as you want it's 10 euros a ticket we're gonna stick it on into electronic lottery choosing the name type of thing live on Facebook so you can witness it's being genuine and the person who will be picked by the app Bush gets one of these if we raise enough money I will cover the postage this is non-profit thing guys just doing this for the community you know uh, if we don't uh, maybe we can split the delivery or something like that <laughs> so we'll see uh, anyway so that's it but if you want one of these now as I said I'm gonna leave the link in the description below just choose black and white pay for it and bash you're gonna have it that's it guys so thumbs up definitely comment please share the video if you want to definitely subscribe but i'm sure most of you subscribed anyway but most importantly please test safely build safely write safely and enjoy your life